We're having a problem keeping alive golden orbs as well, also known as uh, eid. It's a European fish, temperate water fish. This one's about 18 inches, 19 inches, and uh, probably about two years old, one and a half, two. And this is probably fifth, fifth death out of the six that uh, survived the initial acclimation and, and did rather well. But one by one they were dying off and this is, there's only one left. This is the sole survivor of the six. Also about a 20 or 19, 18 to 20 inches fish. About 45 to 50 centimeters. As for the reasons why we keep losing them, I have only possibly two explanations. One is just increased oxygen or enough oxygen is not enough for this fish. It really prefers water 65 Fahrenheit and below, no more than 65. Even though it gets much warmer in the ponds, even up north in the United States. Then 65 and then survive, and they survive there just fine. These are kept as uh, decorative fish along with koi in the northern United States. But anyhow, maybe the Floridian uh, water that we have here, about um, 80 to 82 Fahrenheit at the highest for several months, maybe it's too much for these fish. And my other hypothesis is that uh, these fish like clean water and our water changes in the retrospect have been insufficient for the last couple of years which led to many losses because I can't uh, just use well water straight our well water is light brackish so I have to run reverse osmosis filtration on our water and that costs the membranes needs to be changed quicker than I did before and that's why our water changes in the past couple of years have been as I understand it now insufficient 100% in about 20 to 30 days which at this load of fish it's not enough so in January in January this year three months ago we bought uh, new membranes and I installed them so right now we're back to our normal water change of 100% uh, in less than a week three to three to five days currently we have to make we make about 12,000 gallons of water a day most of it is 85% of it is our raw water and we use it all to change the water in our exhibits continuously it's just pumped in and then it overflows out 24-7 365 so those are my only two thoughts as for why we've been having problems and to test them I'm, I want to get more of the orf now that our water change is excellent and I intend to keep it that way despite the great expense of the membranes each time we have to change six membranes is about fifteen hundred dollars which is manageable I just I just thought we could get away with less frequent membrane 
replacement but apparently we shouldn't try that so if I get new ORF and uh, with the good water change there will be no such steady losses of fish then my hypothesis about the water change would be true but if not then it's not it's not the cause it's something else and we'll continue looking and learning <laughs>